Hi there, it's Ajmer Gill from Inhouse Solutions with another video when what's new in Mastercam 2025. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new unified toolpath, as well as some features that they've added in the Swarf machining to allow you to Swarf machine with the edge of the tool, the flank, or with the tip of the tool when it's an end mill like this. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing I can talk about is uh, the standard curve five axis that has been around for a long time. It's uh, right there. So with the curve five axis, you can pick geometry. And you can pick tilt lines. And the one thing that you can also do is you can avoid areas. But in this case here, you'll see when you avoid the area, it just erases that part of the geometry or the toolpath and then carries on when it's safe. You don't really get to do something when it gets to the, the avoidance area. So now with the unified wireframe operation or toolpath, they give you the ability to use the full uh, collision control, all these options that are available to you with unified with just standard curve geometry. So I have wireframe here, I've got one piece of geometry picked and I've got two tilt lines. So those are my tilt lines. And the geometry that I have picked is the chain, that blue chain here. All right, so if I back up this one, if I look at it from the right side, you can see it's gonna do exactly what it does. So kind of like a curve five axis tool path, but it's gonna go right through my uh, avoidance geometry. And the really nice thing is with the, the wireframe one now, you can add all that stuff in there for avoidance. And you can see the color changed to purple here. So there's my collision control. It says automatic tilting to avoid that stuff. And you can put numbers in there or values. And this one will, again, do exactly the same thing. And now you'll see it eventually when it gets to the option where it needs to go the way, it will stay away from your avoidance, and come back around. So a really advanced way to do a curve five axis kind of toolpath uh, with the full features that are available inside uh, the new toolpath interface. The next option here is the new option in Swarf Machining. So I've got a chamfer here, and I did a Swarf Machining operation, and by default, it's gonna use the edge of the tool, the flank. So that's pretty standard. It's going to do a, a multi-axis chamfer. And all I'm going to actually I'll show you here, it's going to, all I changed in the options here was to use the tip or the flank. So in the first one, it is set to flank. That was the first one. And I just copied it down. And now it's going to use the, the, the tip of the tool. So we can make this go the other way as well by just turning our chaining direction and it cuts this way. So a few new options for unified wireframe as well as the new tip control options for Swarf. Uh, 